Hi, I am Dr. Arun Prasad, Senior Surgeon at Indraprast Apollo Hospitals. I do robotic surgery for bariatrics, GI and thoracic. Let me show you how the XI robot feels like. So firstly, I will show you the back side of the robot where we have the controls. So now here I am standing behind the robot and my hands, I can grip these clutches. So this is you know similar to the trolley which we push at the airport. So only when I press this, the robot will move forward or backward or it will turn to one side or to another side. Then we have further controls here. If I go to the home and I select, so I am going to select upper abdominal surgery which is what I use for bariatric. Now it again gives me the option patient right or left. So let's go to patient's right and now I am going to start the docking process. So if you can see, this is the docking process which has started. The robot is moving forward and because we have to deploy from the right, it's turning on its own. So now this is a lateral docking and the robot and the instruments are ready. Further, I can move this to various sides. For example, I can move this backward or I can move this forward. I can move this to this side. I can move it to this side. So this is the various side movement. And when the surgery finishes, I can uh, go back to the original. So this is the deploying of the thing. When the surgery is finished, then we go on to stow, which means we go back to the original position. And now the robot is reluctantly going back to its original position. Next, I am going to show you how the instruments work. This is a typical ATMM trocar of the robot and this is a typical instrument which we have. I will show you how this gets connected. So into this trocar, this instrument goes in like any laparoscopic instrument. But what is interesting here is that this moves in 360 degrees. Can you see that? It moves all around. My human finger can only move in one direction. So this is an extremely important advantage that we have of these robotic uh, fingers whereby they can move in various angles. Now I will show you how this trocar gets docked. So this is a sterile drape which has been applied here and if you come close you will be able to see this trocar gets docked by we just have to press this. So I press this put it in and that's it. Install the endoscope for targeting. Then we hear instructions from the robot. <clears throat> now look at the instrument that goes inside. It's Do not clicking. move the operating table while the Vinci is docked. So now this has gone there in its position and I am just going to now move this down further. to its desired position. When I have to change the instrument, all I do is, I have to press this and the instrument comes out. And you can see once the instrument has come out, I can take another instrument, put it inside and when I put it inside, it recognizes the instrument and this starts to flash green. When it is flashing green means it's ready to be inserted. So all I have to do is push this down till this green light becomes blue again like this. So the instrument has gone back to its original position. Then we have this advantage of moving this in various angles. So I have one click here and I can move this in this direction. I press here, I can move it in another direction. I have 
further controls here to move it in even more direction. So once it's there, you can see this is moving in various directions. So all combine, all movements combined, we get nine degrees of freedom. That is tremendous advantage when we are doing complex dissections and this can be moved around. So once I have this grip here, I can actually move the robot. Same thing like here. You can see I am gripping this here and I can move the robot around with my grip. So these are some of the benefits of the robot which we have just seen. Next I will take you to the console. Now that we have seen the parts of the robot, I will show you how the console works. So this is the robotic console where the surgeon sits and now there is a screen here which tells me how to log in. So I now look for my name and touch my name. So this takes it back to the position where I had set it. So it's like you know a Mercedes where you set your own position. After that you can still control things by these controls which are here. Now this moves the this moves this handle down up this moves this view box up and down it also can tilt the view box to my choice and finally they have the foot controls so now this foot tray comes out left foot control switching of instrument camera and clutch Right foot will control cautery and coagulation of the right instrument, cautery coagulation of the left instrument. If I have got the stapler inside, then depending upon which side I have, it will also control the clamping and cutting of the staplers. Finally, we come to the finger controls. So I put this finger control and I am looking inside while doing the surgery and this movement you can see, this is a wrist movement. Unlike finger movements or instruments. So this entire wrist movements are what are translated inside the abdomen or the chest as we will start seeing in the video of the surgical procedure and there I will show you how these movements are taking place inside the abdomen. We can see how the hand movements are being translated into movement of the robotic arms and the instruments are moving inside the abdomen.